Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that while we weren't watching, a few people are making financial bets so large they could hurt us all. In its latest Global Financial Stability Report, the IMF says near-term risks have receded as disinflation, that is lowering of the positive inflation rate, is entering its last mile zone. But they warn that medium-term vulnerabilities are mounting, and one of those comes from the hedge fund sector. The IMF says that a small group of very large firms in the sector has built up an enormous short bet on global stability. One so large that, if as seen lightly, these bets are wrong, that could be a problem for us all. Meanwhile, in the US, the number of new claims for jobless benefits was mightily less than in the prior week at 208,500. And this was less than analysts' expectations. Those waiting for early signs of US labour market stress are still waiting. It has been a full two and a half years of weekly reports saying broadly the same thing. And there are few signs this will change any time soon. One reason the wait may be longer is that the powerhouse Pennsylvania New Jersey Rust Belt manufacturing region seems to be on an upswing. The Philly Fed factory survey for April delivered positive new order and activity levels. In fact, the best from that region in two years. Later today, all eyes will be on the Japanese CPI inflation rate. You may recall it came in at 2.8% in February and is expected to be a similar 2.7% when the March data is released this afternoon. If that is the case, the Bank of Japan will likely be emboldened to widen its moves to get off its very long-running QE programs. And Australia's jobless rate ticked higher to 3.8% in March from February's five-month low of 3.7%. And that was lower than analyst expectations of 3.9%. Their participation rate slipped to 66 however. Global container freight rates fell another 3% last week, but that makes them 53% higher than year-ago levels. Outbound rates from China fell again, but there was some movement up in rates to China, even though they remain at very low levels. Bulk cargo rates rose 10% in the past week, although they're still essentially at long-run levels. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 4.65% and up 6 basis points from yesterday. And the price of gold will start today up $11 at $2,383 an ounce. And despite those continuing Middle East tensions and uncertainties, oil prices have stayed lower at just under 82.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is down 50 cents to 86.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at just on 59 US cents and a minor 10 basis points softer from yesterday. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 91.9 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're also marginally softer at 55.4 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just on 69 and essentially little changed. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again on Monday.